stop and think about what life would be like without all of these little gadgets that we have come to take for granted. Today, almost everything with a battery or power cord has a microprocessor inside. In 1968, Intel Corporation was an early entry in producing the first semiconductor memory chips. Almost all the memory in a computer was done with little magnetic cores, little donut-shaped pieces of ferrite that had to be strung typically by hand on these meshes of wire. In 1969, Ted Hoff was asked to help engineers from a Japanese firm transfer a multi-chip calculator design to Intel. Concerned that the chips were too complex, Hoff shared his concerns with Intel co-founder Bob Noyce. And he said, if you have any ideas how to simplify it, why don't you investigate them? So that was the first thing I thought of. Let's simplify the instruction set and add subroutine capability. Hoff's next step was to define a tiny one-chip computer, a microprocessor. The contributions of Hoff, Stanley Mazor, and Federico Fagin enabled this concept to go from idea to product. I was the liaison person with the two customers in my office, and they wanted to build a desktop calculator, and they wanted to do it their way, and we said no. <laughs> so one of my principal jobs was to show them how we could do what they needed their calculator to do, um, and how we could do it through programming and through the architecture of the microprocessor. Fajin led the effort to design and develop the chip, making it a reality. I had to first develop the methodology that made possible to design random logic circuits with silicon gate technology, which had never been done before. So because of that complexity uh, require a special way of doing it. The Bizicom calculator was indeed produced, but Intel held the rights to the chip, and the Intel 4004 became a big deal. We probably haven't seen anything yet. The revolution that will come is that computers will see the world, interpret objects as we interpret them. There is no question in my mind that it's only a question of time of when we will have uh, computers that go way beyond the capability of today's uh, microprocessors. <laughs>